That's the perfect percentage. Yeah, yeah with what I'm told, I heard basically now because of Ash One, they're trying to. They're ah! Yeah, new generation. God damn! I actually pretty happy about um, them finally passing the torch. Yeah, but it's not like they're gonna slowly do it. I yeah. Just don't... Ash has become new companion, which is a really cool concept. Because like the. Yeah, he's not going to be the main character anymore, but they're not just going to hard get rid of him like they did with some people. Fresh like a spring breeze. Well, um, except for the part that now he has a Dragonite, a Gengar, and yeah, basically yeah, going to get a good team. Yeah, he's going to get a good team. It's like, shit. Hey, Gary. You're on an awful long walk, aren't you? Wow. <laughs> the trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary. Advanced I'll be darkness. extra, extra, extra careful. When that was in the show, right? Yep. This is not yeah. your average darkness. This is your oh yeah. This is because yeah. I remember when seeing that. I couldn't remember if it was from the show or from the game, but I remember when but. seeing that. It just makes me think of advanced versus dragons. First time gonna be sending for this part now. Sweet. Oh, mother. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what was that your choice there. It was a bold decision. Well, I thought I could make the. Like Yeah, but no, it's like part of why I was confused because like as it fell, you looked away. I don't know because I thought I just had to fly. I didn't know I was doing that. I guess we're going back to SpongeBob. Mind game, seriously. trouble with them, but then again, I've always been a person who really enjoys the base stuff. Yeah, I'm just realizing, wait until we get to do an RPG on the channel and controlling it. We're going to be seeing a lot of points getting put into speed, depending on some games. Yeah. Well, I almost always go for speed-based stuff unless it's Dark Souls 1, which I prefer, or and 2, which I prefer heavy games. I usually and go with the normal builds, just put one on everything. I just, I want my Zweihanders. <laughs> Except for in 2, I went with the Great Sword in 2. Another fine for Patrick! Guess we're done. Yeah, in, um... That's quick. In Souls games, I always prefer to have, a, like, I've got my eye builds. on yours, Plankton. SpongeBob, I command you to bring Sandy to me for this next job. Okay. Ah, yeah, we Polo Rama! Are you trying to bomb that explosive? No, I'm trying to get to the bus stop. For some reason. Okay. Well, it's saying something at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, the box. Oh. Oh, my vision's not the best, so... Oh, there it is. Oh, huh. That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yeah. That, that is really jarring, that, that cut, or that loading screen is that long. Yeah, even though it shouldn't. Like, literally the original game is... Shows hand, shows hand moving away. Puts him back. Feels weird because I was about to say something before that all happened. I forgot it was. Something I'll always argue is like people often like dismiss kids' shows because they're Kids shows. Yeah. Like. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> I think I'm going against friction. Yeah, I know. Well, you, I you, you, the <laughs> game was forcing you to defy gravity. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, 
Oh yeah, now we're back here. <laughs> yeah, like, as I was saying, like, good kids shows are good shows nonetheless. Just because there's no swearing or violence doesn't mean they're bad. Yeah. Well, no, it also... I want to say it's like, if a show has, like, things that give the kids spanking, you've got, you know, the certain parents, I don't know the... I don't know if it's changed now, but you have the certain parents that say, oh, that's not how, that's too, our kids should be watching something like that. Yeah, it's, the, I've always found that kind of stupid. I was, in, I was encouraged with at least my brother, like, to watch Plankton, you best shows not that be have up more no substance trouble. to them. Nonsense, I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the trench of advanced darkness. A, like a, a scientist. Yeah. This better not be some kind of trick, varmint. And there's one episode that implies she might actually be a spy. You okay? You look kind of green. <laughs> Fire the lasers! It hurts so much to be helpful! Need hatred! Soon! So it hurts him to help. Lion Squirrel coming through! Yeah. And also on the Unless whole thing where it, it shows, better like, make good use it doesn't of even necessarily things. need to be one of those ones that make you have to think, but just like, at least if they have good morals for them. Like, I know it's a popular show to hate, but I absolutely despise Teen Titans Go. Yeah, and it's do. not because of what it did to Teen Titans. Which, yes, I hate it for that too, but... You should definitely hate it, like, literally for the show. Especially the movie. Talk. Teen Titans Go to the movie, that's just... Okay, that one was actually good. Yeah! That was funny. It well, didn't teach any bad morals. It was just how it's mostly the Robins thing. It's like it's not about the caves or doing the right things. It's about having your own movie. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, that said, I'm like I've gotten to the point underwear. of just trying to not associate it with the original show. Yeah. So without associating it with those characters, the, the original show, that movie's not bad. And the thing is, like his whole thing was he was to learn throughout that, which that movie has one of the best joke endings for a kids movie ever. <laughs> Um, but, like, the show actively teaches bad morals. Like, there's an episode, the responsibility episode, I, it's my biggest example. Um, the whole episode is them trying to say, no, ignore, or, like, yeah, if you, or, like, it does technically say taking responsibility is a good thing, but that same episode then says, or, points out that uh, Cyborg and Beast Boy are the worst things for the world ever. Yeah. Wait, is that the one where literally they made clones of themselves? And no, that's the one where they got an argument over a piece of pepperoni pizza, which still bugs me as well. And because they sat there for like 30 years on who gets the last slice, um, you know, time passed around them. So they had to see everybody, their future, and they all, you know, are responsible adults now. Yeah. And everybody's got like a good life, and uh, yeah, so it's like it's a nice look at the future type thing. It's everybody's happy, everything's good. Raven's a god. That's nothing new. I mean, actually, a god. Uh, like that? it's Raven, but more. Uh, is just Rick. Oh, then again, I don't know how. The whole thing with Ravens is she has to be like she has to be in check with her emotions. Yeah, and she still is, but like her power have gotten has gotten so much stronger she's ascended to godhood. Uh, but yeah, like the whole thing is but because nothing's the way that uh, Cyborg and Beast Boy wanted to be, it's like, no, we have to go back to the past and change it so none of this happens despite the fact that everybody's happy. And well, it's um it's their fault for like, you know waiting thirty years just over a pizza. Well, yeah, but it's also everything's good. Um, 
and then... Wait, is this like that episode of Robot Chicken with the whole what, what the world will look like if One Piece wasn't a thing? I don't know that one. I didn't watch Robot Chicken too much. But, uh, yeah, so eventually they get a time machine and go back in time so that they don't well, have that well, argument over the pizza. No, grease can't handle. And then it's like, what's the worst could happen? Cuts to 30 years later and everything's on fire and destroyed and dead. <laughs> so literally what that episode just, it ends with is like, yeah, they're just going to ignore all responsibility by building a time machine. And then because they actually were there, the world died. They're the end of the world. <laughs> Everything is worse for them. And then there was the also kind of responsibility episode where their time traveling elderly future selves show up and are trying to make them be responsible so that they'll, you know, live long lives. That episode ends with them doing reckless things, spending all their money so that they could kill their future selves. Now go step in front of the lasers. Nice try, shrimp. <laughs> the, one, the one I liked was basically uh, Cyborg and Beast Corps, well, the one I Cyborg did not like. It's basically they b made a. Um, oh, the the clone, what you're saying? Yeah, no, when they made a bunch of clones of themselves. Yeah, so that they could just stay and eat pizza and play video games yeah. in a hidden location. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, okay, but if you're the real ones, how are we gonna get to the real ones? Oh, hang on. Just sends the one their home base into into outer space, just replace it with a new one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll never deny the show has some good jokes every once in a while. I'll say maybe one in every three episodes. Um. Yeah, like that one had a decent. There had a couple of decent jokes. In there. Uh, the Harley Texas. Quinn. Uh, the movie. The, the show. show. No, I've not. I only seen season one. It's like so far. I think it's good. Yeah, I. I don't. I haven't had time for TV lately. I'm still trying to get the Dragon Ball Super, but like I haven't watched an episode in over a week. And then I want to watch BMA because I've been recommended by a lot of friends. B I mean, My Hero Academia? Or? No. Uh, BNA is a uh, Netflix original furry show. Does it involve death metal? Uh, I don't style. think. No, that's a Gretzico, which I love that show. Uh, what do you mean, Beast Star? No, that is another one though, and I love that show too. I've watched that. I'm like Nick, these, and it's not the one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, nope. There's BNA as well. I don't know what BNA is though. I think it's just the name. Like I, I think it is supposed to be a play on DNA, but beasts. Ah, uh, I can't tell you what the show's about. I haven't watched it yet, so. Yeah, uh, I can. B Stars and Agrets Co. all both get my like seal of recommendation though. They're really good shows. Uh, B Stars is mature Zootopia. Agrets Co. Really is um, let's make cute animals Animal. deal with a real, real life situations. Like carnivores. And like getting, or like having to deal with stress at work and getting married and such, like real life situations. But um, or, and yeah, for B stars, it is like it deals with the whole carnivores versus herbivores thing, oh, like in a very serious and in some ways realistic manner. Some ways I don't see that happening. Like their black market feels a little. I don't think that something like that would happen in that type of world, but, yeah. Again, I'm still stuck with my thing, so... Crap. I'm in credit. Let me take this one. Also for, um... I was gonna say. Oh yeah, for B Stars, there is a voice actress in there that you will probably recognize. Because how much Digimon did you watch? Almost, almost every single one except for like the season five one. Do you remember Kari's voice? Yeah. No. Yeah, the rabbit is voiced by the same person. 
and um, Rabbit Haru. She uses sex to control people, essentially. So, hearing Kari talk like that is weird. Are you sure this is what you're supposed to do? Unless I'm supposed to, like, because you could just go switch to SpongeBob. I'm, I'm just too determined. I'm just <laughs> trying to. I'm literally trying to time the attack. Like, trying to get the robots to jump. I guess I gotta go to SpongeBob. Love make it easier. Presents. Give me a challenge. Why did all that stuff explode in the background? Yeah. Time for a because I guess I'm like, sneak. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that also feels like that was wrong. What you was just supposed to be the right thing to do there? I feel like a new sponge. Yeah, what is this? I think Maybe? it's called the I'm got a glitch and the game's being full. That that's... doesn't feel like there was a glitch there. That just feels like that's a really weird setup. I don't... After seeing how that works, the, because that robot will respawn, I don't think you are supposed to do this with it. That was cool. Um... Oh no, like... Let's see. I'm not even in the light. You... Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. That feels like full. Well, no, I just noticed the moment I swing, I start up walking normally. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point, too. It's kind of hard to do that when the three machines... Like, by the time I get to the other guy... At right. least with the button, you can go pretty fast, but it's just gonna shoot another one of you now. That doesn't feel right. I gotta try to hurry up and get Fresh, to the like a spring breeze. Give me some. Oh, I guess you're good now. You're past it. I just wanna go over there now, just but unfortunately I jump it. Again, yeah. this level is why I use this level alone is why I always avoid it and just so until I got the uh, missile. So half of this stuff would be like a headache. Yeah. This really doesn't. This feels like that may be a, like you're supposed to happen. Not just it's a good idea. Excuse me. Like I don't. I'm not even in the light. You. Have you ever heard of the game um, Metal Arms vs. the System? Or more do you remember it? Because I know I've talked about it like at least once a year. I think I probably forget. This game really gives me vibes of the midway point of that game, which uh, if I really would love to be able to play that for the channel at some point. That game is fun. It's, it's an interesting game. I love how they're, they minimize the swearing in it so they could keep a lower age rating, yeah. but they have this one character that one of his character traits is he swears, like, all the time. But, you know, if he swears all the time, that would give him a higher age rating. So, because the like the robots sponge. in it, one of his things is he's just self-censored. He like, can't swear. He gets censored every time. It's kind of hilarious more than anything. Yeah, no, the whole game is just comedy. And okay, I got, I got all the paintings. Okay, I thought I didn't get all the Oh, yeah, I, I, I told you things. that. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's a really funny game. Huh. Hey, Mr. Krabs, that was what picking are you up doing? on the mic, too, so everybody knows yeah. that was him pressing the button. It has to be like attempting to press the button. It's like nothing's happening. It's like click, 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 click. Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula step. here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to <laughs> save it. The golden spatula! Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! This is like the most out of, out of character Mr. Krabs is, but... Well, it feels like if this was the show, he would have had a scene where it explains he doesn't want to be around Spongebob right now. Yeah. And that's why he would be acting like this. Because you know that'd be the type of thing he would do if he wanted to just be avoid Spongebob for some reason. Yeah, or you know, the whole... Spongebob, what did you do with that hat? Oh, I gave it back to the person who was? He was number one. Why do I keep... I, I'm now just remembering the one scene which, like, kind of freaked me out in that episode. 
Here lies Squidward's dreams. No, that was funny. <laughs> Even as a kid, I I, I enjoyed that dark humor. Um, well, dark fish. Was it like was it uh, no, Squidward's dude. dreams or Squidward's hopes and dreams? I think it was hopes and dreams. And uh, no, the scene that was that creeped me out was the whole Mr. Crab's crib digging. Like that was really well, like done visually as well. It really hammered home. Mr. Krabs is doing something he's really not supposed to. Just shows what greed does. Yeah. But then again, there, just like m multiple episodes of Mr. Krabs doing stuff, like you know, a expired Feel like a new sponge. Yeah. Well, it, it never went too far in the old episodes, and it was his greed was the problem. But Fresh, something would like happen in the end to him. Yep. Yeah. He'd always get punished for it. It's like, I need to take yourself. Okay, we'll get in line. Okay. He'd almost always get punished for it. The episode where he stalked and tortured Plankton, he didn't get punished for it. Hey, you. And that Pepper is probably the worst Mr. Krabs episode. Is that the episode where um, he learns or he, uh, he learns Plankton is afraid of whales? Uh, that torture. I thought it was more, um, the episode where Plankton's trying to go to straight and narrow, but, uh, Mr. Krabs is, like, saying, no, he's not. Yeah, okay. It's like the whole episode's like he's wrong until the very end. It's like, I finally did, it finally worked. Yeah, I know you're better than yourself. <laughs> and, of course, the episode of basically, well, guess what, like, the reason why you, I can bet, I bet I can succeed in taking the formula from you. There's even the bet that he can, like he himself can take the formula. Great. Uh, because my brother was watching the show yesterday. I was overhearing it. Um, yeah, parent. I can't. I don't remember being an episode. So it might have been one of the newer ones because I don't know when. It's a newer one. one. But well, no, because right, my brother just watches random episodes, so I don't know if it's old or new. Where he, there was a whole thing where um, they have the backstory of why. Mr. Krabs and Plankton are constantly in a rivalry. Oh yeah, because of the... No, because of when they were children. They used to be best of friends. Yeah. And then, like, Plankton stole his pudding. Or something. No, I, or, or probably, but I... Remember the episode was, like, literally... When the Krabby Patty was being made, it was made by Mr. Krabs and Plankton. Huh. But I guess something went wrong, they had a falling out, and when they fought over the... the um, formula, one of the added ingredients to the formula was chum. Huh. I don't know the rest of that episode afterwards. Yeah, it might be just a different one. That's the one thing that's definitely weird and confusing about watching Spongebob is like some of the newer episodes just contradict the old ones. Yeah. Well, I just they just this. redo the same plot, but nope. New reason why. Like, your big complaint is about, like, Spongebob ha his, his reason for not being able to get a driver's license, or boating license. It's just, apparently, they point out that he's not good at driving. He's like, you ever thought about a driving? Like, that, was, that episode, like, or the, ep the boating, e old boating episodes actually held Last excited. Of artwork accounted Still for, Mrs. Puff. Issues I left no strange yeah. glowing stone unturned. Well, now, and, nice like, work, Spongebob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. Part of me thinks she's not going to give those back to the museum. Yeah, no. What is, in my head, I have it just like, in her downtime, she's a thief. And I don't remember why. Uh, there was a point where she had to fake Spongebob get a license. I, I, I know it's not her stealing back Spongebob's but are stealing Spongebob's boat because she needed to take back his license. I know it was a different thing than that. Well, no, she, like, had a, like... Yeah, she had the mask and everything. It's like, okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Blue animal. Yep, still got it. Okay, yeah. let's see. I, I know it's not that that makes me think this. I remember that episode pretty well.